Hello, welcome to Melissa's Talk Show. I am your host, Melissa. Today we'll be interviewing several famous artists who have produced outstanding work despite challenges on because of their disability, have managed to make an impact on the entire world through their, through their music, art, and expression. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Peter Longstaff, Stevie Wonder, Beethoven, and David Sussangus. Okay, first off, we have Peter Longstaff. Welcome to the show, Peter. Hello, Melissa. Thank you for having me this evening. You're welcome. Peter, so tell me a little about your life. Alright, so I'm 54 years old. I was born with no arms because of my mother. She took some drug while she was pregnant. Um, much of my life I was a tractor driver, but then I later on retired and looked for art for inspiration. Much of my life I used my feet to get around to places. I like to look at my art as a way of inspiration for others and tell other people that anything is possible despite having a disability and that you can be whoever you want to be. <laughs> can I see some of your work? Of course you can. That's a fantastic story, Peter. Tell me, did you ever feel discouraged because of your disability? No, of course not. My family was spectacular through everything. They always supported me in whatever I did. I'm married and I have three children and they treat me like I don't even have a disability. I wouldn't be the person I am today without having them as my support system. Thank you very much, Peter. That's very wonderful. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. What an amazing guy. Next up, we have Stevie Wonder. Hey, Stevie. Hey, Melissa. So glad to be on the show. So, Stevie, can you tell us a little about your su path to success? Sure. Well, as you probably know, I've been blind since birth, but that would never stop me from reaching my musical aspirations. I, uh, I've always been very passionate about music, and I've been performing since age 11. I'm a huge advocate for equal rights for everyone and world peace, and I believe that the sky's the limit, no matter what personal struggles we have to battle. That's very inspiring, Stevie. Can I hear some of your funky tunes? Sure. There is superstition. Actually, it appears that he may have passed away quite some time. But hey, we'll still talk about his life. Thanks for having me, Melissa. You're welcome. Could you tell me some insights about your old friend Beethoven? Of course. Uh, Beethoven's life was actually pretty interesting. At age three, he began practicing music. At age 11, he had to drop out of school to start helping out with the family's income and to stop his educational development. And then when he was 27, he began to lose his hearing, and that's when it started to become interesting. Initially, deafness was thought to have exclusively negative impacts. Beethoven's working success led to a group called Super Crips, a group that was identified by both disability and success. Before Beethoven charmed the ears of millions, the disabled were looked at as burdens on society. It paved the way for a generation of people with disabilities who were able to stand out and succeed in society. Yeah. Of course, uh, here we have a clip of a symphony performing Beethoven's Furlies.
So today we have many wonderful guests, but our last guest today is David Sanctus. So welcome, David. Thank you for having me. So your new movie, Where Hope Grows, I hear it, that would be the Can you tell us a little about it? Where Hope Grows is about a lost, early retired professional baseball player whose life is turned around when he meets a young man with Down syndrome, played by myself. And he starts seeing the world through my character's eyes. Essentials like the importance of family start emerging in his life. It's a story of finding redemption through hope, love, and faith. That sounds like a very wonderful movie. How does it feel to be like the first actor with Down syndrome in an English speaking film? It's all definitely very rewarding. All the hours were totally worth it. The movie marks a milestone for actors and actresses with uh, disabilities. And at the same time, it means so much to me because it's my very first movie and it seems to be receiving so much attention and support. It makes people see me for my abilities rather than my disabilities. You're definitely on the way to success. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you, David, for your time. I would like to make a big thank you to all of my guests as well as all my listeners. See you all next week.